I'm happy to share our work for safer navigation by enabling real-time crime heat map in NYC. I'm Kai Yuan Hou. This work is collaborated with Yan Chen Liu. He primarily worked on model training and code integration. There are multiple motivations for this project. First, according to NYPD officer, the, over, the overall crime rate is increasing for many reasons this year. More than one quarter felony crimes has happened compared with last year. Second, the public have limited information on crime events in real time. People will be only be notified after the crime has already happened. Lastly, uh, won't it be good to have some guidance during navigation to bypass the high crime rate area? Thus, our goal of the work is to generate heat map overlay of danger factor on top of the map and update a uh, sub-minute at street level gradu granularity. The highlight text are our contribution to our knowledge, a sub-minute street level granularity heat map hasn't been done before. There are several challenges. It is extremely difficult to have a appropriate data set. Second, how to access the street level information uh, to have a street level granularity. A very important part of this project is real time. So we need to have a affordable refresh rate of the heat map. And uh, lastly, the cost of Google API uh, is another uh, problem. The main data set we used is NYPD combined data set, uh, which contains about 8 million records. This data set is updated weekly uh, it it provides start time, the precinct, and the time of arrestment. Also, demographic information of suspects and the victims are available. There is also a geolocation provided, but the meaning is ambiguous. We are not sure if it indicates the incident location or arrest location. So, we first did some uh, EDA on the first ten records. The bottom of figure shows the crime escaping time. And we can see there are many spikes there, uh, which is a multiple of 30 seconds. And the geolocation on the right seems to be a normal distribution uh, for each uh, precinct, uh, which are we, I select a four here. So what does the EDA infer? This is, there's actually no arrested location. And the timestamps are roughly estimates because the spikes, as I mentioned before, are multiple of 30 seconds. Uh, 30, 30 minutes, actually. Uh, what we cannot do is predict the location of crime after the uh, criminal after the crime due to lack of accurate time and the location. But we can predict the level of danger uh, at a specific location given the current time by incorporating Google API uh, weather information. Uh, for the data processing, pre-processing, we first remove invalid data rows. Uh, the record is uh, entered manually by some officer and there are many typos inside. And uh, we only keep the records in Manhattan. Uh, then we label the geolocation with safe if there is no crime happened within a day. So this is due to the, um, the crime record. This data set only have three types of crime, uh, felony, medium, and also violation. Uh, so if we train with these three, the, uh, three labels only, we can we cannot get a place that is safe. So we need to introduce another another label plus which is safe, uh, and uh, we encoding these values into integers uh, for improving the performance of the system to reduce the time. Uh, we use a deep neural network to predict the safety of that location. The system contains a restful front end and a back end. The front end requests Google MapJS to acquire the possible routes between two locations in a list of turning points. And then the front end sends the routes to a Flask API server. We first interpolate these routes to three level granularity with about uh, zero uh, 0.001 change in longitude and longitude. Uh, 
which corresponding to uh, 100 meters in real reality. To ensure the real-time performance, we offload the interpolation algorithm and the model in inference into different processors and use each threads for model inference. The reason is that we need to pass uh, all the data points in the list of interpolated geolocations to the model individually, and uh, each uh, inference may take some time. And uh, when we are uh, uh, aggregating all of them, it may take a huge amount of time. And uh, finally, after apply a weighted sum on the classification outcomes to get a safety score. Once all computations are done, the backend publish the heat map to Redis database, which is subscribed by the front end, and the front end will update the heat map accordingly. We also have a simulation system to stream uh, fake crime events in real time. The latency of the system depends on the length of the route. The longer the route is, the more geolocation we need to pass to the model. For the bottom left figure, we can see that the inference time uh, and the distance are kind of in a linear relationship, which makes sense. Uh, and uh, due to the application scenario that users are mostly working, uh, so distance we test is only up to three miles. When the distance is up at one mile, it takes about five seconds to generate heat map. And at three miles, uh, it takes less than 10 seconds. And this is uh, affordable since the data set granularity is about many level. And uh, the Google uh, API refresh the traffic or load, inf uh, load information uh, from, uh, 30, from 30 seconds up to an hour. And then the mega middle figure is the confusion matrix. Uh, we sacrifice some prediction rate to uh, of safe to maximize the recall of the crime prediction. Uh, and the overall prediction accuracy is about 78%. Uh, it is kind of hard to evaluate this system uh, besides empirical justification. So uh, maybe let me, uh, show a demo to illustrate this. Uh, so here's the map. Uh, let me zoom in to Columbia uh, area. So we start from Columbia and uh, go to maybe the central Harlem. So I select the first point here, start point and end point here, and I click once. So it gives us um, two possible routes here. And uh, we can see the heat map overlay on the routes are available. And it's clearly, we can see that um, near the uh, Harlem area, it's more danger. Uh, and, the use, and the user can pick the, the routes they want to go. Uh, they believe it's safer than the other one. Uh, so, uh, and uh, yeah, so um, just recap uh, what we covered. In this project, uh, we have a database management front end for data visualization and the deep network for prediction. There are many business values such as introducing another dimension for navigation platforms, um, also provide some reference on real estates and help police to uh, enforce their attention when necessary. Uh, future works maintain, may have a more robust accuracy model and a data augmentation and a trans, maybe uh, transform the heat map grips uh, mm, which follows the orientation of the Manhattan. Thank you.